I'll bet he has a hard time finding pants that fit. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and we are continuing with our look at Fans Project Bestructor. And next up, we have Bird Brain. So here we are, and there he is. And uh, yeah, he's a uh, he's 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 a thing. He's a thing, all right. Definitely a thing. I wonder if he's related to Gonzo. I don't know. But anyway, let's get in closer here so we can take a look onto the details. You can see a lot of the body done in a nice purple. Got red there for the eyes. Got those big chompers going on there. And you get some nice gray, some blue, silver for the claws. And some nice details throughout. Get some more blue back here, some more silver. Quite, quite cool. There's his butt. There's the top. There's the bottom. And yeah. Now as far as articulation goes, the mouth can open and close. You can mer 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 can do that. The arms, the front legs. Can rotate a full 360, can move in and out. You got rotation there, double joints right there. The claws are on a ball joint, so they can move up, move down. You get tiltage, and you get rotation. The hind legs can also rotate, and you have a joint here and a joint for the foot. And that's pretty much it for the articulation. And for comparison, here it is with the original version of the figure. And as you can see, the only difference is just the coloration, but same toy. Now, as far as weaponry goes, he does include his gun right here. It's a nice double-barreled blaster, and you can take this and store this right back here on either side. That just plugs in like so. So you can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang. Hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it, so. That is basically it for the thing mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? That's. So let's just remove the gun. Put that off to the side. Release. And uh, we're going to go into robot mode first. And then we will end in combined mode. That's how we're doing this this time around. So to get him into robot mode, you just want to unpeg these side sections here. Like so, and then just bring the hips up. Take the crotch piece, just bring that up until it snaps into place. And you want to take this section here with the foot and just bring that out. You can just panel and just swing that around like so. And this whole section here is just going to come down on a double hinge. Oh, before you do that, you want to take this connector piece and rotate it inward. So everything sits flush in there. Then we can bring this down. And then, hey, you stay. And then you just bring all this around. Just bring the foot underneath on that hinge. And there is a little hook tab just going to go in there, which can be quite a bit of a pain in the butt to get in. But it is doable. There we go. Let's get that locked into place. Then you just take the foot. Just tabs in. Right there, like so. And then you just kind of raise this up on this joint here. Then you just flip out to the heels. Flip out to the heels. And just bring that leg down. And there you have a leg all done. Second pass. Just like the fast. So rotate this in. Like so. Just bring this out. Swing that around, bring that down, swing all this in, swing the foot back, get that leg out of the way, get this foot clipped in. Most of the time I actually leave this unclipped, but you know, you're supposed to do it. So for the sake of the review, I'll do it. But there you go. Get that clipped in, and flip out of the heels, and tab in the foot. I don't know why I'm singing. Anyway, get that leg into position and just bring that leg down, clickety clackety. And there you have the lower body all done. So, now moving on to the upper body. You just want to take these claws, rotate them around like so, and just flip the hand out. 
And the claw itself will just tab in right there into the form. There you got that done. Second vest, just like the first. Rotate, rotate, tab. Done. And then you just take the beast mode head, monster mode head, thing head, and you just bring that down against his back. And you just bring the chest down, bring up his head, close it back up. And uh, there you have a bird brain in, hey, there you have bird brain in his robot mode. And he definitely has the weirdest design of them all because he's just like 95% crotch. That's just, that's, that's inappropriate and quite disturbing. But anyway, let's get in close here. On oh, that head sculpt, nicely done head sculpt. In my opinion there, yellow for the face, you got some nice silver there on the head crust. Nice red to there for the eyes. And you got that gray, that blue and purple, and some black there on the chest. And his big old crotch. <laughs> and the gray there on his feet. And moving up the back, he just has the big thing head hanging off his back there. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You do get your wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. Can look up, can do a total squirrel, and can look down into his own chest, if that's the thing you need him to do. Arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out. You do also have a uh, backward joint as well. It's more for combination, but it's there if you need it. Bicep rotation. Double-jointed elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist. You do have... Waist rotation, as well as a ratcheted ab crunch there. Legs can go forward, that far, Whoop. back, that far, outward, can I do the full splits, that ratchet's a little tight. You do have thigh rotation, you have under 90 degrees of a bend there at the knee. And the feet are on the ball joint at the base, and you also have that hinge in there as well, so the feet can move up. They can move down, get some tiltage, as well as a rotation. And the heels can move down, if you need them, to support any pierces. And, of course, you can give him his gun, which he holds quite securely, so you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. There you have that, and now for comparison! Here he is with the original version of the figure here. And again, the only difference is just in the coloration. So, there you have that. And for a mainline comparison, just so you can get an idea of how these figures scale. As far as the size of these figures go, there he is with Power of the Primes. Deluxe Jazz, and as you can see, these guys are deluxe-ish size. So, there you have that. And here he is with his teammate, Slog. And you can see, a little bit shorter than Slog. So, there you go. Now, one last thing we can do here before we go into combined mode is you can uh, bring in the combined mode feet. And you can actually take these and plug these onto his shoulders. They just plug in right there. Like so. So you can have just giant shoulder cannons or you can turn them the other way and have the big missile racks. Whatever you want to do there. So hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. So there you have that. And now let's get down to combined mode. So let us remove these. Put them off to the side. Remove the gun. He won't be needing that. And let's get down to it. So you just take his head. Push that back down. That's the easiest step here. And then we're just going to work on the legs. So we're just going to flip in the heels, and we're basically going to go back to beast mode with the legs. So just undo a little clip here, which again can be a bit of a pain in the butt. I usually leave this undone, but you know, got to do things proper for the video. But just bring the foot down and just swing all this around. Take this panel, swing that around as well. And then you just take this section here, collapse it up. Like so, and all this will swing in like that. And then we'll just rest back here, take this connector piece, and rotate it so it is now sitting like that. 
And you can take the beast mode like here and just bring that down like so. I need to take the section here and bring that around. That will form the combined mode crotch plates. And we got that all done. Second fuss. Just like the first. Just swing those around. Unclip the foot. Unclip. There we go. And just bring all this around. Swing that around. Collapse that up. And bring all this around. Bring that down. Rotate that outwards. Reposition the leg. One thing I will say is that these sections right here, this little rotational joint here, is a bit looser on this copy than it is on the uh, on the original toy. But something to note. Bring that out, and we have that all done. So now, what we're going to do here with the arms is we're going to. Bring the claw down, rotate the hand in, and just leave that as is. And we're going to bring the arm down and bend it at that lower hinge. And then the arm is just going to swing back on this hinge. And this will just plug in right here into the side of the monster mode head. So just get all that situated. Like so. You also have this tab that kind of goes into a notch in there as well. So just get everything position properly so everything can sit as it should which it doesn't want to why are you fighting me why 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 are you fighting me i know why because the camera's on that's why there we go get that position like so and same thing on the other side just bring that down rotate that around and just swing the arm back peg that in like so Get everything situated. There you go. Bring those claws back. And then you just take these connector pieces here and just swing them out like so. And there you have Bird Brain in combined mode. There you go. And it becomes the lower abdomen and the crotchial region and the hips there for the combined mode. So now. We can bring in Slog in his combined mode, and what's going to happen is these two sections are going to plug in right up here, and you have this post here, which is going to plug in right there. So, just line everything up, and plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Trying to get that back peg situated here. Come on, come on, come on. Camel. There we go. Just push it all the way down until it clips into place. And kind of having trouble getting the uh, getting this back peg situated. Takes a little bit of doing. A little bit of doing. There we go. That's pegged in right in there as it should be. These sections are clipped in. And there we go. Now we have the main body here of Beastructor, aka Monstructor, going on. So, yay! We are making progress. So, there you have that. So, two down, four to go. So, stay tuned for the next exciting installment of Fans Project's Beastructor. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Fans Project's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Beastructor playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Fans Project Bird Brain, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face.